all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You get the point. You get the point. All right, you get the point. Enough of that. Hey, guys, welcome once again to the DJ Talk Show. This is George Jett. Hey, guys, found a golden nugget. Golden nugget here at the DJ's Producer Remixer uh, group in, uh, what is that, Facebook. So if you guys are not part of that, make sure you guys go there. And also, this is going to be a reply to Nick Spinelli, but not directly to him. Uh, just in general, just giving you my two cents about line dancing. And if you haven't followed uh, Nick Spinelli, make sure you follow him because he is at a great inter- he's a great DJ. He's a great MC. He does dances or used to do dances and all that good stuff. But he's a great entertainer, and he's a wealth of knowledge. And I highly respect him, and uh, I love him. Uh, so this is not against him or anything like that. It's just my two cents. You know, we disagree, but that's okay. That's why we're here for. We all have opinions and all that good stuff. So that is why I'm recording this show for you guys today. So let's get this started. Okay. First, we need to take uh, into effect is that uh, if you're a wedding DJ, this is for you. If you're not a wedding DJ, move along. All right. So I do both all, all types of events. Okay. I've done plenty of weddings and all that good stuff i meet with the brides and grooms i tell them about the details and give them suggestions and all that good stuff and usually some pick you know the things i suggest some don't and then later on they'll say you know what you were right we should have followed your instructions but (laughs) you know i've married i don't know 200 people and they've only gotten married once (laughs) they think they're an expert at marriages hey whatever but listen We're here because we're DJs, and I know if you're watching this, you're a DJ. So let's talk about this. Are you against playing line dances? Line dances, yes or no? Music for line dances, yes or no? Okay, great. All right, so if no, then you're going to agree with me. If you don't like line dances, you're going to disagree. So this is what I have to say about this. So Nick Posted a funny, uh, funny picture. Says stop playing line dances. Posted on uh, social media, which was hysterical. He did a video on it, and the video is the one that I agree at the beginning, but then I disagree. Here's hear me out. Uh, when I meet with brides and grooms, I normally give them an itinerary, and the itinerary is already pre-filled. That way, all they have to do is kind of like erase it. I do an itinerary over email, um, and I have a playlist. And I do not playlist on the playlist. I have like a couple of suggestions and I give artists. I don't give songs. I just give artists. Uh, and in my do not playlist, I literally have all the line dancing. Um, I have YMCA, electric slide, cha-cha slide, Cupid shuffle, dollar dance. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, whatever I forgot, you know what I'm talking about. And I've also coined that cheesy wedding music. And the reason I call it cheesy wedding music, it's because that's the music that the guests want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. The guests do want to hear that. Um, If I had a choice, would I play it? Absolutely not. I would not play it. I would, you know, go and do my set, set my vibe, you know, do the introductions, you know, set the vibe of the room, you know, uh, start learning from the from the room or or just do my own thing. You know, just play my own music and I set the vibe and they vibe to me. They dance and whatnot. Right. But uh, the majority of the weddings, they're expecting the guests are expecting the cheesy wedding music. So they're expecting the line dancing. I'm sure you guys have done introductions and you're announcing the bride and groom first dance, second dance, father, daughter, this and that. And then you. uh you uh, say, hey, guys, dinner's coming up. Uh, you know, we're going to play some background music, whatever. You play the cheesy background music, you know, Frank Sinatra, whatever, you know, whatever it is. I'm just making stuff up now. And then all of a sudden, some lady comes up to you and say, hey, why don't you take that off and put some line dancing? Because we want a line dance, you know. So that's happened many, many, many times. And I'm sure that's happened to you. So my uh, my. Uh, my I'm going to give you a couple of tips later on, but my disagreement is that he says that um, 
blind dancing is ruining or it could ruin his image as a DJ. And um, he's probably at a different level now, so he doesn't need to refer to that. But the thing is, the, the, you know, the guests want to hear it. So we got to play what the guest wants. Um, and what's going to happen if you say... Okay, somebody, a guest comes up and says, hey, I don't want, uh, I want to hear Electric Slide. And then you're like, you're going to tell the, the guest, hey, the bride and groom said uh, they don't want any line dancing. I can play something else for you, uh, but it can't, you know, they don't want line dancing. It's their wedding, you know, let, let them enjoy themselves, right? So that person goes back to the table, usually tells somebody else in that table, hey, the DJ's a jerk, he doesn't want to play line dancing. And then somebody off that table or that same person goes to the bride and groom and says, hey, I want to, I want to da line dance, you know, let's get this party started. I want to line dance, you know, and then that person, th then the bride and groom comes to you and says, hey, um, could you play, uh, you know, Cupid Shuffle because, you know, my guests want to hear it. And then you're like, Oh, uh, yeah, but you told me that uh, we weren't going to play line dancing. <laughs> oh, my Lord. You know, you're going to have to play it, man. I'm sorry. You're going to have to play it. It's a wedding. Let people enjoy themselves. It's about the guests, you know. The other thing I disagree is one thing he said is that the majority that one. Well, sorry, not the majority. Out of 100 people, one person is going to dislike the DJ. And if you do a hundred weddings, that's a hundred people that are gonna dislike the DJ. And the word can get around that you're a cheesy DJ. You know what? I don't know about that either. I, what I think is that out of a hundred people, 10 to 30 people wanna hear, <laughs> oh look, people are responding, wanna hear, the music they want to hear the line dancing so could you imagine okay a good scenario you play the electric slide everybody how many people show up to the dance floor right away five six ten twenty people let's say twenty people show up imagine if those twenty people hated you because you didn't play their song okay so now you got 20 fans that love you so you know that's that's where i disagree I think you should definitely play it. Uh, the other thing I disagree, oh, I'm going to leave that to the end. But here's my tip, okay? Talk to the bride and groom. If they, don't want, if they want you to play, if they're not sure, because you're going to tell them, hey, I don't want to play line dancing, but line dancing songs, but here's the deal. You guess they're going to want to hear it. This is what I suggest you do. Tell the bride and groom that you're going to play all the line dancing right at the beginning right after the first dance and all that stuff, right before, like, go to dinner, after dinner is announced that you're going to open up to dance, do all the line dancing back to back. Yes, it's about 15 minutes of them, okay? Get it out of the way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make a joke on the mic, say, hey, guys, bride and groom, you know, you hope you guys, uh, you know, they're, they're having a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed the food, whatever, whatever. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up to dance and we're going to do all the line dancing back to back because we want to get that out of the way so we can enjoy the party. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. So we can enjoy the party and 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 do it in a fun way, you know, and, and you know, make a joke, whatever it is, and then play all your songs, all those songs back to back. And then they're done now. You can, after that, you can set the tone of the party. You can do whatever it is that you want. That's my suggestion. I've done that before. It works fine for me. Uh, the other thing that um, I disagreed was that he says that beat mixing is what's replacing line dancing. Again, I disagree with that. Ask yourself this question. How many weddings have you done or how many events, okay, in total, how many events have you done and people are coming up to you and say, hey, why don't you beat mix because I want to dance? Think about it. I, I just don't see that. Now, I don't know if he said that as a joke. He probably did. I'm sure he did. He's like, I'm going to punk these people and say something funny. 
No, I, I, I disagree. If, if you're a DJ, it doesn't, I mean, I, I have always said it, it doesn't matter if you're beat mixing or not. Yes, learn how to beat mix. But if you're putting the right music at the right time, at the right place, you know, if you don't know how to how to beat mix perfectly, you know, just kind of cut the music in, whatever it is, or let it fade in, fade out, whatever you do. Just play the right music, and that's what people are going to enjoy and dance, okay? The other thing is what's really taking um, line dancing or line dancing away is reggaeton. You got to play reggaeton everywhere. Reggaeton's everywhere. Bad Bunny, all of those things. Play that constantly, just nonstop. That's that's a way of punking you. All right, guys. Hope you guys had a great time. If you agree or disagree or whatever, please leave it in the comment. Okay. This was a very quick and prompt to video that I wanted to make because I wanted it just to reply. Nick, nothing against you, man. I love you. I, I love you, man. I love you. And I, I love your opinions and everything. But I want to hear what my people think about uh, what I said. All right. So, guys, have fun.